What's up guys, it's Bryce here and welcome back to the World Cup Squad Prediction, the results. Now, if you know, a couple of days ago, I did upload a video called World Cup Squad Prediction, England Squad Vote Now, where if you haven't seen the video, I'm going to explain rather briefly what I did. I basically set up a survey in a video for you guys to vote on who you thought deserved to be in the starting 11 of the England squad this summer in the World Cup in Brazil. Now, I had over... 15,000 results for this survey, so if you are one of those people that took part in the survey, thank you ever so much, it is greatly appreciated, your participation has counted towards the results, which I am now going to show you. So from all the results that I collected, the most popular player in that certain position, I'm going to present to you in this squad, and uh, yeah, so from 15,000 survey results, this is the squad that is the most commonly thought People think deserve to be in at the starting 11. So let's get cracking straight away then. We have Joe Hart. Nine, bang on, exactly 90.00% of people thought that he should be the number one goalkeeper. Nearly 11,000 people thought he was the number one goalkeeper that deserved to be in the starting at 11. I'm not going to give any opinions that I, what I think about the players or what I think about the results. I am literally going to be presenting what the survey shows in this video. As you can also see on your screen, Forster actually got 627 votes, which is 5.3% for such a goalkeeper that has never really appeared for England too much. Um, that, is, that, is a lot of a, uh, that is a lot of votes and a great percentage. Right then, moving Moving on to the defence, I will show you the right back. It was actually Kyle Walker who came in at the number one spot. 52.8% of you thought that he should be the right back for England this summer, which is a high voting. Um, and then the next highest um, right back, I believe it was Micah Richards. Moving on to the centre backs then. As you can see, Cahill came in at a whopping 83.4%. That was the highest centre-back that was voted by you guys, by nearly 10,000 of you. 10,000 of you all believed that of all the defenders, no matter what their position, as long as they are a defender, he is the player that deserves the England spot the most from all the defenders, which is absolutely crazy. The next highest rated voting then in the defence was Leighton Baines. 62% of you all felt that he should be in, uh, in there ahead of Luke Shaw or you've got the likes of Cole so Leighton Baines was the number one left back and then finally we do have Jaggy Elka who came in with 41.33% which is 5,000 votes so that is the defense from nearly 15,000 survey results you guys believed that that is what the back four should be. So we've got Leighton Baines, and we've got Jaggy Elko, we've got Cahill, we've got Walker, and then in goal we do have, uh, we've got Hart. Right then, moving on to the midfield. I'm going to start off this spot here. You know who it's going to be. It is Steven Gerrard. He's had an absolutely unbelievable season so far at Liverpool. 92% of you all felt that he should be in the starting 11, which is absolutely huge. Um, but it isn't the highest percentage that we are going to be looking at in this squad. Um, right then, I'm going to go on to the left midfield position then. 55.7% of you all thought that this spot should be filled in by Raheem Sterling, which is understandable considering... Again, he has had an absolutely unbelievable career uh, career season at Liverpool uh, this year. And considering his age, he has got a lot of potential. And um, I, 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 you know, I, I said I wasn't going to put my opinions into this video, but I would love to see him uh, starting in the World Cup for England. On the right midfield then, coming in at 47%. We do have Lalana from Southampton. Now, he is in the right mid position here, as you can see on the right-hand side. Um, and he has been upgraded. And now at Southampton, he does actually play more of a central position, more of a uh, centre forward or a centre attack and mid position. But he does have a card on Ultimate Team. And back at the start of the season, he used to play in the right-hand side uh, for Southampton. And he was an absolutely brilliant right midfielder. Uh, but as of more recently, he has been more of a centre attack and mid. But for the sake of this squad, he is going to be um, on the right-hand side in the right midfield position because that is where... 47% of you all thought he should be played. Finally then, to complete the midfield, we have Jack Wilshere. He came in with 32% of the votes. Now, this one was really, really, really close between Wilshere 
Oxlade Chamberlain and Lampard. So all those three players were extremely close, uh, but Jack Wilshere was actually the one that nicked it. So he is going to be filling in the second centre attack and mid position player then in this squad. Right then, we are on to the two strikers. I gave you, um, I believe it was six options uh, to be in with this squad. And I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to start with Wayne Rooney, actually. He has been absolutely tremendous for Manchester United. As a Manchester United fan, I honestly think that he has carried us through this season. If it wasn't for him, I think we would literally be mid-table. He has. I have never seen a player carry a whole squad um, so well. As like, I know people have said like in the past years, I mean last year, for example, you had Gareth Bale at, uh, at Tottenham, for example. But I think this year, Rooney has been absolutely tremendous at Manchester United. And he came in with no... 90.25% of the votes from all the votings, 90 point, I'm going to round up to 90.3% of you all thought that Wayne Rooney should be in there and I don't think anyone can argue otherwise um, with that. Finally then, the last player in this was actually the player with the highest percentage. So from all the survey results, the player... That's English nationality, that is the highest percentage that deserves to be in at the starting 11, is Sturridge. Now, there's no arguing with that, I don't think, because he, again, him at Liverpool this season. Liverpool have done so many wonders for Englishmen, uh, which is absolute perfect timing, considering the um, the World Cup is coming this summer. Uh, but we've got Gerrard in there, we've got Sterling, and now we do have Sturridge, who did come with just under 93% of votes from nearly uh, 15,000 survey results, which is absolutely incredible. So that is going to be the World Cup squad prediction for England this summer thanks to you guys this isn't my prediction this is literally a prediction from you guys that watch my videos that filled in the survey results which came to just under 15 thousand people. Thank you ever so much for taking part in the survey. If you would like to see me do a similar thing for a different country, no, I don't know what the country is, that is for you guys to decide, then if that is something that you would like to see, make sure to let me know down there in the comment section below and I will get on to doing this for that country. So it's been extremely interesting to see the survey results that you guys have submitted to see the players that you think should be and shouldn't be in the starting 11. Um, and it has been a great lot of fun. And that is the starting 11 that you guys have voted for. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then please do three leave a like. 3,000 likes would be absolutely incredible. I am so, so stoked for the World Cup. It is unbelievable. And if you are stoked as much as me, drop a like. Let's smash the hell out of that like button. Let's break that like button. Uh, and that would be absolutely awesome. Thank you ever so much for filling out the survey. And until my next one, I'll be speaking to you guys later. Take care.